today I'm going to show very quickly how to put a trench that's not full depth into a slab. So here I am in Revit 2017 and I have a 12 inch thick floor. I'm going to the structure tab. Um, I could also go to the architecture tab, but I'm really looking for a component and I'm going to model in place. I'm going to classify this as floors. Um, and keep in mind, this is just one way in which you might model a trench. There are, there are a number of ways that we might potentially do this. I need to create a void, so I'm going to go to Void Forms and select Void Extrusion. And then I need to sketch on the correct plane uh, my extrusion. And so I'll set my work plane. I'm going to pick a plane, and I'm going to set that to the face of the floor of the slab. And then I'm just going to draw, in my case, a rectangle. Uh, that represents the trench of interest. And so maybe this doesn't go all the way through. Uh, so I'll just kind of choose a one foot wide trench and maybe it's a little over 30 feet long. And then right now it's showing it as a full foot thick. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's meant to be only, you know, six inches thick, half the depth of the slab. Um, and then I'll finish to create that void. Now you'll see that that void exists. Um, it exists in the right orientation. Um, if you had it wrong, if, if it was uh, reversed because of the angle at which you drew it. You could always make this a minus six inches. And then I'll finish the model. And uh, I'm seeing that it says it will not cut anything. Uh, so if you are creating a family like this, and I'll cancel, if you're creating a family like this and you see that message, it's because you haven't yet made the cut. So I make the cut and then finish the model and the family's fine. So in other words, if I make a void family um, and I haven't really applied it to anything, and there is no solid geometry in that same family, it's not going to work. But if I've already used it to cut something, and therefore it, it has a host, so to speak, then the family will allow me to create purely a void, um, and now I have my trench. And of course, the, the nice thing about this feature is that it's editable in the future. 